so hello everyone uh, welcome back to civil learning online youtube channel and today in this video i am going to discuss about the application of convolution theorem like in the previous lecture we have learned what is convolution theorem and also its derivation so now uh, let us solve this numerical this function using the convolution theorem so without any further delay let's get started So when we have a closed loop to this function, it's uh, we can see that it is a uh, inverse Laplace transformation of s upon s square plus one whole square. So let us split the denominator into two different terms, like which will be visible to you. See what we will do? We will just split it as s upon s square plus one, and another will be. 1 upon s square plus 1 we can write this as this form in this form so next so you may have a question like we have why we have splitted this into two different functions see here if we have as we are asked to solve this problem using the convolution theorem so convolution theorem says that inverse Laplace transformation of fs equals to ft and inverse Laplace transformation of gs equals to gt then inverse Laplace transformation of gs times fx fs equals to uh, integration of 0 to t fu times gt minus u du or uh, integration of 0 to t gu ft minus u du so that's why we have split this now you can see here you know that inverse Laplace transformation of inverse Laplace transformation of s upon s square plus 1 is equal to cos t also inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon s square plus 1 equals to sine t these are the formula which I have discussed in the previous video that is if let me recall it so we have we know that inverse Laplace transformation of a upon s square plus a square equals to sine a t also inverse Laplace transformation of s upon s square plus a square equals to cos a t so in place of a in here we have one so cos t and sine t will be our uh, solution now you can see here like as per our theorem we are asked to if the inverse Laplace transformation of f s exists equals to f t so here one here is one term and inverse Laplace transformation of g s equals to g t so inverse Laplace transformation of g s equals to g t so here it is then we can apply this theorem that is uh, inverse Laplace transformation of f s g s equals to integration so we can rewrite it as using using convolution theorem convolution theorem that is inverse Laplace transformation of uh, s upon s square plus 1 times 1 upon s square plus 1 equals to integration of 0 to t cos u times sin t minus u du this is as per the theorem see here we have we can apply both of uh, any one of these like we can we have we will have two functions so we can take any of among them as uh, gu and uh, f t minus u so here i have to i am going to take i have taken cos u as g u and uh, sin t minus u as f t minus u so uh, here we have this in the product form and if you have watched my previous lecture you might have known that uh, we cannot uh, apply integration if we have the trigonometric functions in product form so we have to use one more formula here which is in the form of 2 cos a times sine 
b equals to 2 cos a times sin b equals to sin a plus b minus sin a minus b so we have to convert this in the, this form so we have only this much portion so we have to divide this by 1 by 2 so we can rewrite it as we can rewrite this function as 1 upon 2 times integration 0 to t 2 cos u times sin t minus u du okay now we can easily apply the formula which will be 1 upon 2 times sin u plus t minus u minus sin u minus t plus u and close the bracket and do the integration 0 to t so from here we will have integration 0 to t sin u and u get got gets cancelled so we have sin t minus sin 2u minus t and close the bracket and du so next uh, we know that integration of sin t will be equals to minus cos t so we have here 1 upon 2 use the bracket sin t integration is cos t and we are integrating here we have u so let, uh, sorry sorry we have uh, we are integrating in the with respect to u so here we have no any expression which is containing u so sin t will act as constant and we are in we are integrating here so use the bracket and sin t and we are actually we are actually integrating it as sin t times 1 and integration of 1 with respect to u will be u so we have here sin t times u minus we have sin 2 2 u minus t so integration of sin t sin 2 u minus t will be 2 t will be minus cos son of sin is minus cos so minus cos is will make this positive cos 2 u minus t divide by 2 and limit is from 0 to t okay so now provide the limit here so we have 1 upon 2 and first of all we will need to make uh, provide this t. we are we are integrating with respect to u so we will have here t times sine t plus cos 2t minus t upon 2 and now we will put the lower limit and lower limit is subtracted from the value which will get our after putting the upper limit so sine 0 is uh, in place of u we put 0 so 0 times sine t will make it 0 and minus and here we will put 0 so cos 0 minus t is cos t so minus cos t upon 2 further we can i hope you understood this see here we have uh, this 0 so in place of 0 we u we place 0 so uh, 2 times 0 is 0 and minus t is uh, cos minus theta i hope you remember that cos minus theta is equal to cos theta so that is what we have cos minus t remaining so cos minus t is cos t so we have cos t and we are putting the lower limit so this is minus sign and this cos 2u minus t is cos t now uh, we will have here 1 upon 2 t times sin t and cos 2t minus t is cos t so plus cos t by 2 and we have minus cos t by 2 and now we, we this 2 gets cancelled out because uh, on subtracting positive and negative signs so we will have here 1 upon 2 
times t sin t this is our final answer so i hope you understood this numerical example uh, stay connected with civil learning online channel if you want to learn a lot about the engineering uh, next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself